If you touch the victim with any part of your body, you may get an electrical shock too. If you use a non-conducting pole or rope, you can move the victim without touching him. When you're sure that the victim is separated from possible shock sources, you need to determine the victim's condition and render first aid when it can be done safely. You may need to start artificial respiration or administer CPR, which is cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Everyone who works around electrical equipment should be trained in proper life-saving techniques.